Okay, hi everybody. I usually don't do this, two videos, seconds within each other, but I just read a post that it was really annoying to me. <laughs> and so I just wanted to do a quick um, thought on that. Um, a lot of people get annoyed, freaked out, and actually get angry when people talk about gold dust, people falling on the floor laughing, people maybe barking like a dog or spinning in a circle or levitating or um, uh, oil coming out of their hands or all that kind of stuff. And they say, that's not God. Um, they freak out and they get annoyed at it. I, I want to, or they say, what is the sense of that? Because the scripture says when you do that, they were like drunk and so on and that they went about having power and the purpose of the Holy Spirit is power. But let me tell you something, what the word of God says. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit came upon them and they had power, but the Holy Spirit is not just about power. They all seem to forget um, in the scripture where Paul says, let the grace of God be, uh, the love of God be on you, the communion of the Holy Spirit and the grace of Jesus. And the Holy Spirit is our teacher, our comforter, our friend, our abider and revealer of truth. The Holy Spirit is not just power power the holy spirit is a drama king he has he is involved in all of the arts he is uh mm -hmm. the creativity the 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 silliness he is the um not just the power but he is the communicator so when people freak out and say oh these people rolling on the floor or, oh these people laughing or gold dust coming out or seeing angels or orbs or or barking like a dog or uh, all this crazy stuff and they freak out about it you got to remember that is the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is to communicate with us now me and my husband if we never rolled on the floor and laughed together chased each other if we never played games together if we never um, had more of a relationship than okay you do this mm -hmm. we would not have a relationship we would not be communicating okay so you got to remember this the Holy Spirit is our partner our friend our helper he he is the communicator so the Holy Spirit communicates with us lots of different ways he relates to our personality and when the Holy Spirit is on you strong your physical body is going to react in heaven do you think that they're sitting there like this looking at each other no they are rolling on the floor laughing they are having a party they're having a good time they are eating they are celebrating Christianity is a celebration it's a celebration of the love of God the good of God the partnership of God It's not dead religious people going to church sitting in a pew trying to be good people that accomplishes nothing Christianity is about people living everyday lives supernaturally in relationship with God communicating with God experiencing God they walk in power wherever they go because just like Peter your shadow your body it touches people you are filled with the Holy Spirit you're gonna get people drunk different places you're gonna be drunk in the spirit because where do you think drunk this comes to Jesus is the wine uh, Jesus turned water into wine they got heavenly drunk they didn't get worldly drunk what do you think the bars come from the bars are copies of what is in heaven everything on earth is a copy of heaven when you get drunk in the spirit getting drunk in a bar is a a, a cheap imitation there can never be an imitation unless there's the real thing okay so all these crazy things you see people doing and you get turned off because you say, ah, that's just the flesh. Well, maybe it's the flesh, but it's the flesh reacting to the spirit realm because we are a spirit being. We have a fleshly body and a soul and all this stuff happening is supernatural. Mm -hmm. You can't help laughing when you get drunk in the spirit. It's fun. It's awesome. It's wonderful. You can't help it. I got stuck to the floor. God made me dance the hokey pokey. Um, and it. I had no control over my body. God is not a gentleman, by the way. <laughs> you just let him do whatever because he's so much fun. Okay, I got drunk in the spirit many, many times. Uh, uh, all kinds of stuff. And it is fun. You just got to let go and let God. You can't keep in control. When you keep in control, then you're not going to experience all this fun stuff like they experience in heaven. 
You might think it's indignant that everything's done decent and in order. God is not decent and in order. Okay. In church, things might be decent and in order, but not all the time because the Holy Spirit shows up. He messes up. He wrecks your plans. He messes it up. He does what he wants to do. And you got to let him. Where do you think his sense of humor came from? Where do you think laughter and joy came from? It came from God. Why do people stress out? Where do you think gold and silver came from? The earth was full of it before the fall of man. You, you, you are thinking in a box. And this is a pet peeve of mine because people get in this little box and think, okay, God is nice and neat and he only does this. And everything that is out of that box that I never heard of before is of the devil. Give me a break. If you don't have a relationship with God, you're going to think all of this weird stuff is of the devil. But you got to realize, like earth on heaven, this earth was meant to be fun. We were not meant to toil. We were not meant to die. We were, we were meant to ha be full of laughter and joy and walk in the garden with God. That was his intention. Fellowship, communication. Do you think when Adam and Eve walked together in the garden, they didn't tell jokes to each other? Do you think that Jesus didn't pull pranks and joke with his 12 disciples? He was not all serious. He was fun. Laughter is like medicine. So you know it's good. Jesus brought laughter. Okay. The gold dust, the oil, the manna the, in the Bibles and, 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 and sapphire dust and all that stuff. It's all of God. Do you think the devil would do that? Now, some people say, well, it's not of God because it draws attention to you. Well, so does putting on makeup and clothing. It draws attention to you. So does standing up in, in, in a public place drawing attention to you. But why do they draw attention to you? Because God is in you. God is in you. You are God's representative. So if it draw and, and when you lay hands on people and you get healed, it's you doing it because it's God in you. You can't do it without God. So enjoy your life. Be who God created you to be. Don't get freaked out on stuff that happens that you don't think is God because you're in a religious box. Ask God to take you out of your religious box so you can experience this awesome funness. Once you get taken out of that religious box, one of the things that I noticed with me is my hair would stand on end. Uh, and I would think, oh my God, there's a demon in the room because my hair stands on end. Well, then God told me, he says, that is just your physical body reacting to the spirit world. And so I calmed down and I said, okay, my hair stands on end. So what? And I say, if there's a demon in the room, you know, get out in Jesus name. If it's an angel manifest. So every time you feel creepy, it's not because there's a demon in the room. Your body is not used to feeling the angels, the supernatural stuff. Angels are ministering spirits to us. They're partners with us. You should see them. You should experience them. You should communicate with them. That is not worshiping them. When you're in a partnership with somebody, you communicate with them. You're in partnership with the Holy Spirit. I asked the Holy Spirit, what's the difference between what the Holy Spirit does and the angels do? They both minister to me. What's the difference? He says, the Holy Spirit ministers from the inside. It's an understanding. It's a knowing. It's a, a leading and a guiding. The angels minister from the outside. It's they set up situations, they set up circumstances to put you in the right place at the right time. They manifest things to you. They open your eyes so you can see things. That's the difference between their work. And when you're in partnerships, the angels minister to you. So you're going to see some weird stuff. And you got to think of all the animals, the trees, the rocks, everything on earth is a copy of what's in heaven. Everything in heaven is alive. There is no death. So... You're going to see when your eyes begin to open, you're going to see some weird stuff and you're going to have to trust your imagination because your imagination is the key is the link between the spirit realm and the, and, and the physical realm. So you're going to have to learn to trust your imagination, give your imagination to God, trust your imagination and, um, ask God, ask the Holy spirit who is your helper to explain things to you that you see, but don't always automatically say this church is a, an occult or whatever. And you got to remember Everything that the occult has is a copy of the real stuff. The supernatural belongs to the Christian. God did not create the supernatural world and everything the occult is doing for the occult. They stole it and they twisted it. Okay. So believe in the Holy Spirit and the ministering spirits 
and trust that they're your partners that you need to communicate with your partners you do not go into business with a partner and not communicate with them if it's all business you're not going to succeed you got to have a fellowship you got to have fun time you got to have downtime you got to have uh, time where you make maps and schedules and appointments and and uh, a plan times where you play okay angels are not all serious they're like us they have personalities they have likes and dislikes they 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 they're with you your whole life they be they like things you like because they hang out with you you know um, and you have more than one spirit so so lighten up and enjoy life enjoy and learn to flow with things instead of freaking out and say oh my god my hair's standing on it there must be a devil in the room say god what's going on here you know if you're if there's a spirit that is ministering to me you know let let me know talk to me manifest yourself to me um trust god and 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 trust the angels and don't ever go anywhere with the angels unless you ask them first do you believe jesus is the son of god that came to earth in the flesh and if they say yes go with them trust them but keep a journal because let me let me tell you this keeping a journal is really important because god showed me this the other day whatever experiences that you have you can re enter into those experiences by remembering recalling and thinking about them that's how worry happens worry is when you remember an experience you had that was similar to this or something someone told you that was similar to this something you heard on TV that was similar to this then you go back to your situation and you say oh this is gonna happen the same way then you begin to worry that's revisiting an experience or someone else's experience that brings worry and it makes it happen again well if you want to revisit an experience you had with God like you went to the courts of heaven or you had an angel experience and you write it down in vivid detail you go back and read your journal and just by reading your journal and those entries that you made you can go back there and revisit it you can look around in your mind and your imagination and see more for example if I said to you right now how many doors how many windows are in your house okay so you would go in your mind you'd have your eyes open and in your mind you'd think in your house okay I have one door one window in the kitchen two in the bathroom three in the living room and you know and you'd go through it because you're seeing it in your mind and that's the same way in the spirit realm you're you're in the spirit realm so um, trust God trust the experiences that you're having but first give yourself totally to God to the Holy Spirit and remember every time you sin you kind of it's like taking mud and like putting it in your eyes so you don't see because the devil will use that to make you feel guilty and when you feel guilty you'll feel unworthy and you'll begin not to hear God not because he's not talking not because he's not directing not because the angels aren't helping you but because the devil is using that against you and he's he's blinding you and making it so you can't hear so sin is 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 gone and you don't want to step back into sinning so repentance is so important uh, and and staying out of sin and the more you fall in love with Jesus and the more you see in the supernatural the less you sin because it's so much fun when you don't sin when your eyes are open to the spirit realm when your ears are open and the other day I want to tell you I I smelled in the spirit realm twice now and I tasted in the spirit realm a couple times and that's really cool it's the first time I experienced that but I see in the spirit realm um, at night when I close my eyes I try to um, imagine something happening in the Bible or going to the courts of heaven or just talking to Jesus and one of the things he does with me which I absolutely love he shows me colors from heaven he shows me jewelry uh, bridal gowns and colors from heaven and gemstones and and jewelry and it's just so beautiful and I say God I haven't seen any colors from him can you show me some jewelry from heaven and he gives me these flashes of jewelry so ask him ask him to show you okay what do the animals look like one of the things I want to know is what did a snake look like before the fall I would love to see a snake before the fall and what it looked like um, because it was beautiful and uh, mm -hmm. so so anyway so just have an open mind when you experience when you hear and when you see these things don't be so quick to judge because when you judge and say ah that's of the devil you're closing when you say something's of the devil you are closing the door to have that experience and to find out the truth 
So just say, God, that kind of feels negative with me and it feels like it's not you. I don't understand it, but I want to understand it. And if it's of you, I want to know. I don't want to criticize them. I don't want to condemn them or judge them. Just open up my eyes and ears and, and, and help me to have understanding. Help me to have experiences like that if that's from you. Rather than saying, ah, that's of the devil. Oh, you're a false prophet or, you know, whatever. Open, allow God to open up your eyes, ears, your and experience the supernatural because not only are we to create uh, not only are we going to rule on this earth now as we grow and mature but we're to rule everywhere god created it all for us we're the center of the universe the world revolves around us god created us to rule on the universe because he wanted like he wanted fellowship with us he wanted family and so Everything revolves around what we do affects the spirits and the spirits can do their job. And God wants that communion with us, that fellowship with us. That's, that's it. The love of his life is us. And, and so when you get that through your head, then you're going to send your spirit being. God wants to have spirit communion with you. The angels that are assigned to you, um, you need to communicate with them. They need to communicate with you. It's a partnership. And um, we just we just need to worship God, keep our eyes on God. But we love our animals we love our plants our gardens our home just because we're talking to the angels doesn't mean we're worshiping them doesn't mean we love them we're in all of them because the word of god says that the heavens um ex express and show forth the glory of god the earth reveals who god is the angels are part of all that the angels reveal god to us when we see the angels and how beautiful and mighty they are we think of wow how much more awesome is god so get out of the box expand your thinking and receive everything that god has for you to receive so commercial time <laughs> if you're an author or want to be author check out my website i'm changing it developing it um more uh information for authors and i'm having more face i have youtube which i have lots of teaching on also but robinbremer.net has teaching but a lot of author stuff if you want to write a book, I charge $300. I, in 30 days, you're a published author. I also can promote your book. I also can take your book into large print, into an audio book. Um, I can get your book up to number one. Um, I can uh, publish it in different platforms and promote you on my website and everything else. So anyway, that was my commercial. Check out my website if you do that. And I love you all, and I hope you all brought in your mind and, and, and just really step into the supernatural things of God. And remember, share this video. If you got anything to it, like it, leave comments, and uh, share it with social media sites, Google+, Facebook, whatever. And love you all. I pray that God opens your eyes, your ears, your nose, your mouth to experience the supernatural realm for which you are created and to walk in power and dominion and and have a blessed sunday talk to you later